What is up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at substratum for our Samsung devices no root at all literally i still don't know how the developers pulled it off in order to enable themes like literally it's an overlay but still it's kind of bit difficult to do it on the touch with and right now it's in beta stages but uh, it depends on the time when you are watching this video because this thing is going to blow your mind the requirements over here are no root at all the device running no god we surely in upcoming months most of you guys will have the GS series and the A series already being having the no god update as well as this Galaxy S7 Edge and the other S series. If you want to download this mode, you have to just join the Telegram group of the developers. Go into the file section and you will find the APK over here. As soon as the developers let me post APK for you guys in the description, I will do that. Let's just check around the app. Now, if you already don't know what Substratum is, it's actually a theming app for stock Android devices with actually root, but also works without root. If you have root, it's okay. You can change your boot animations and stuff. Also, we can just overlay our normal stock Android with it. As if right now on Samsung devices, it's not full fully compatible but still you can do some stuff such as theme your navigation bar to a whole another level if you have a galaxy set and you have a nav bar you will enjoy this app there you go i have installed couple of themes over here as you can see this is the normal ui of the substratum as you can see it shows you a warning that it's a legacy provided as if right now it doesn't give you full compatibility from the app you can go to your overlays over here if you tap the home button over here you will find all of the themes made by various kinds of developers and they are actually nice but going to the theme packs let's just start with the nav bar you can just find these apps on the play store as you can see you get the android system as you can see over here don't select this overlay or you will die i didn't take that seriously the developer told me on the telegram group that not to try this but i just trusted myself and uh, look what happened to my galaxy set i completely bricked it now there is a way that you can boot into the safe mode by pressing and holding down your volume down but still it doesn't work you might be thinking this powered off but no this galaxy set is literally turned on right now and i can't access it i'm an idiot like literally i could just test it on this thing but I was so lazy and I just bricked my Galaxy S8. So in order to enable the whole thing, you can just go over here, animation enabled, that works kinda do. System your navigation, enable that. Choose one from the list, we will just go for Pixel 1. I like that one too. Apply the theme, now it will just patch the whole APK for you. Install the app. Now as if right now it doesn't work on root, so you have to just do a full reboot. Now we have the Pixel navigation bars. You can just go to your normal settings and let's just uh, try to flip it around. Display navigation bar and we'll just flip it around and can also go to the phone and it also flips the color so it doesn't stay white at all it's system wide it's actually dynamic so it changes colors according to your app uninstallation it's again simple you can just go to the overlay list now over here you can actually do this in bulk select all overlays uninstall selected okay there you go the theme has been uninstalled you have to just reboot your system now you can also install some kind of themes over here such as this swift black pick your android version google play store we'll just do couple of one i don't want to stretch this video and done you can just reboot the system again as you can see the navbar is back to stock again as we just uninstalled that one as you can see the system you have internet there are some bugs as if right now you can't actually make it to the camera but it's actually gray over here instead of pure black let's just check out the play store whether it's black too as you can see the play store has been also taken a dark theme now if you are asking me what's the actual point of getting another theme store whether we have our stock theme store over here many of the themes on the theme store over here on the samsung are of course paid which are the nice ones but actually you can't individually select whether you like the icons you don't want the wallpaper don't want the system you are you just want the icons you can select that in substratum if you just want navigation bar and you can also create own substratum things this is just early access app over here otg serves but through this app you can create your own substratum themes for your phone and customize however the hell you want with it and there are many substratum things just free for you guys to check it out look at the amount of navigations bar available over here one of my favorite ones is the action one let's just try that over here it just opens many more possibilities for our phone that we don't have to root our phone actually in order to customize it and without the Samsung Shady theme store. Look at that nav bar, how cool it is. The recent tabs button over here, the back button, the home button. Look at that. Axon phones do have some cool navigation bar. So guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you don't understand something, please let me know in the comment section below before leaving a dislike or else I will find you and I will break your phone. So guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.